Hello everyone. Welcome to the AI practical series. In this particular session, we will study about the support vector machines, the SVMs. So I have divided this session into two parts. The first part is the explanation of the SVM. The second part is Python implementation, execution and explanation of the code. So what are support vector machines? We call them SVMs. So this is actually a powerful uh, supervised machine learning algorithm. So it is a supervised machine learning algorithm which is used for classification and regression tasks. So what do we have in this is uh, of course SVM is particular is primarily a uh, classification uh, classification tasks which involves uh, some data which is uh, we have a classified data. Okay. And uh, we classify the data according to the features. Then in this case, in case of SVMs, we have the margin. So what is the margin? So margin is the distance between the decision boundaries and the nearest data point from either of the, the classes. We'll see the diagram after the, the second slide. So here, uh, we also have something called as support vectors. So what are support vectors? Support vectors are the data points which are closest data point to the decision boundary. So we, ma we make up a decision boundary on one side of the decision boundary we have one class and on the other side we have another class so to make up this decision boundary we need some this we need the support vectors then we have the kernel trick so what is this actually so it can uh, svm it, it can handle uh, linear data okay it, it, it can actually do the linear separation between the two class but sometimes we don't have the data in the linear format then we have a uh, non-linear separable data okay some data is not not linearly separable so this particular thing is not easy to achieve in case if the data is non linearly separable so it achieves this by using kernel function which transforms the original feature space into higher dimensional space so sometimes the data classification becomes difficult with one dimension we need to use two dimension or maybe three dimension or more than that so here we have a two dimensional graph having some data sets so here we have a class of data sets this is another class of data sets and here we have at, at the middle of them we have a decision boundary now how do we make up this decision boundary is by using the support vectors so you can see this particular data point of this data set is lying at this a uh, very uh, this extreme end and this one at this extreme end so we line we draw a line okay and uh, this decision boundary is uh, we can say in the middle of these two so these two data points they are called as a support vectors so anything which is on the left side of this decision boundary comes in this particular class and on the right side of this decision boundary comes in partic this particular can be classified in this particular class so this is how this we use this support vector machines in case of supervised learning this is the algorithm the python code we'll be using so we're using numpy pandas because we in this case we are actually importing the iris data set we will be using this particular particular we will ex execute this particular uh, program using the iris data set so we have to download it after downloading we will save it in our system and if we are using python id then at this point the data pd.read.csv we need to give the path of that particular file but in my case i am using google colab so I will actually upload that particular file iris.csv so this i is capital so please take care while saving the file sometimes it is small we, i is small then it won't execute the name of the file if it is in small i here it should be small i so then uh, this is the program we'll explain this program afterwards so this is the program now let us execute this program on google colab then I, then I will explain the code so now I am into the google colab I'll just click on code and because I've already copied the code, I'll just paste the code here. So this is the required code. Now, because we are using this Iris data set and uh, while using this Google Colab, we need to upload this Iris data set here. So we'll click here and here you can see, I'll just click on this. And uh, on my desktop, there's a folder called as machine learning and I've uploaded this data set here. So iris.csv. So we'll get it here. So this iris.csv. Now see what problem I may get is this file. The name is iris. I is small, and in my code this i is capital. So I, I'll just change this here. Small. I'll make it small. Otherwise I'll get an error. 
so if the file name is in capital i it is okay but uh, it, then it, it was okay before so because this is starting with small i i have to make it small i okay now we are okay i will just close this and now i can run the code i'll just click here to run the code so yes this is the output we are getting accuracy as 1.0 the best possible value so this is how we execute this code now i i, I have uploaded this uh, I, I will actually share the code in the description section of the video you can download from there so now let us see the explanation of the code here we explain the python code for implementing svm classifier we start by importing the required python libraries numpy and pandas for data handling matplotlib.pyplot for visualization svc support vector classifier from scikit-learn for the svm implementation train test split for splitting the data set into training and testing sets accuracy score for evaluating the model's accuracy we load the data set from a csv file named iris.csv you should replace iris.csv with the actual path to your dataset file if using Python IDE. We assume that the target variable is in a column named target in the dataset. X is assigned all the columns except the target column, representing the feature variables. Y is assigned the target column, representing the target variable we want to predict. We split the dataset into training and testing sets using train test split. X train and Y train represent the features and target for the training set. X test and Y test represent the features and target for the testing set. Test size equals 0.2 specifies that 20% of the data will be used for testing, and the rest 80% for training. Random state equals 42 is used to ensure reproducibility of the split. We create an SVM classifier using SVC with a linear kernel. We can choose different kernel functions like RBF, poly, etc., depending on the problem. We train the SVM classifier on the training data using the fit method. We use the trained SVM classifier to make predictions on the test data. We calculate the accuracy of the SVM model by comparing the predicted labels Y pred with the actual labels Y test from the test set. The accuracy score is printed to the console. That's all for this session. The link for the Python code and the Iris dataset is shared in the description section of the video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe and comment.